Hello, this is Jennifer Bailey, and in this lecture I'm going to show you how to add titles and subtitles, how to use the merge and center option, how to embolden, underline, center, change color, and wrap text. So the first thing I'm going to do now is put a title on my spreadsheet. So in order to enter any information onto a spreadsheet, you need to click on the cell where you want that information to be entered. And all you need to do is click on the cell and this big black box appears and that is where your information will be put. So I'm going to put my title in cell A1 and I'm just going to give it the title timesheet. And as you can see the information appears here and it also appears here. So you can edit it here and you can edit it here as well. Because if you have a lot of information, um, sometimes using this bar here makes it a lot easier. Because if you have something in the other columns, this will be hidden from sight. Whereas up here, you can see a great long piece of space where you can put your information. And then you can click OK to accept that text. Or you can just push the Enter key on your keyboard. The next thing I will do, because this is a title, I'm going to make it stand out a bit more. So I can push the B to embolden it, or you can use Control plus B on your keyboard. You can underline it, or Control plus U on your keyboard. And I can also make it bigger too. So I can click this button here and make my title bigger. Now, as you can see, my title doesn't fit into this column anymore. So there's two different ways of making the column wider. I can either hover my mouse over the join between the two columns, hold down my left mouse button, and then drag the column wider. Or if you wanted to automatically fix the information you've put in the column, you just double click on the join like so. Now, because this is going to be my title, I actually want it to span several of these columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select A1 by holding down my left mouse button, and then I'm going to highlight up to column G, and I'm going to use the Merge and Center button. So now this becomes one big cell rather than several. I'm now going to add the other titles or subtitles that I want to use on my spreadsheet. And I'm going to start these at A3. So I'm going to type in date. And I'm going to use my right arrow key to move across to the next cell. I'm going to use my right arrow key again to move across. So now I've entered my titles in, and they're not looking that great at the moment, so we're going to try and make these look a little bit better. So I'm going to start by highlighting my titles and making them bold in the same way as we did before. And now we're going to either have to make these columns wider. So I can do is obviously I can double click to make them fit the text like so. So what we could do instead is we could wrap the text. So for example, where it says hours worked, I could select that cell and choose to wrap the text. So as you can see from this helpful box that pops up, it basically means that one word is going to appear beneath the other in the cell. Now as you can see, nothing's actually happened or it hasn't appeared to have happened. But if I make this column smaller, the work has disappeared. And I can make that appear by making my row bigger. So what I need to do is come across between the three and the four and hold down my left mouse button and drag it. And then my hours worked appears there. And I think I'll do the same thing with the deductions as well. So I'm going to wrap the text and then I'm going to make the column a little bit narrower. And that appears. 
Now they're not looking awfully even at the moment, so let's just quickly adjust some of these. But when we start putting more data in, we can see what actual width we want them to be. But let's make them look a little bit tidier for now. I think it'd be also quite nice to have these centered. So I'm going to highlight them again, and this time I'm going to use this alignment option. So you can have left aligned, which is what they are now, you can have centered, and you can have right aligned. But I want mine to be centered, so I'm going to click on this middle one here. I think I might also change the colour of the writing as well from these headings. So if we come up to this option here, this is where I can change the font colour and I'm going to choose blue. If you'd like, we can also change the font too. So if we come back to date and highlight the tub titles again, this is our font type here. And we have a whole long list of other options that are available. So say, let's choose, oh, let's choose Accord. No, I don't like that one. Let's try Cambria. So now we have a different font. And if you want to change the size, in um, with our heading here, we use this increase font button. But you can also choose a size from here. So if we make them 14, for example, or 12, as you can see, as we scroll through the sizes, you can see the effect that it has on your text. So let's leave that as 12. So in this lecture, we looked at adding headings and subheadings, how to use the wrap text and merge and center options, how to change font face, font size and font color, as well as emboldening and underlining. We also looked at how to make columns wider and rows higher. I'm Jennifer Bailey and thank you for watching.